प्रोग्राम सर Harinathan is your uh, voice is not uh, clear. Hello. Hello. Dr. Harinathan. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Shall we start the program, sir? Yes. I'm ready. Okay. If you are ready, I have no problem for me. Good morning, everyone. A day without prayer is a day without blessing, and a life without prayer is a life without power. So let us start this wonderful session with Tamil Thai Walter, followed by the Kali Chantam.
Thank you everyone for your respect towards prayer. As the next step of our session, let me invite Dr. T. Shanmuga Prabha ma'am, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, to present the welcome address. Very good morning to everyone present here. With a great pleasure, I extend a warm welcome. On behalf of our PG and the Research Department of Microbiology, VHN Chendikma Nadar College, Autonomous Virudhanagar, jointly with Microbiologist Society of India. I welcome you all to this national webinar on mucormycosis, the black fungi. I welcome our chief guest, Dr. A.M. Deshmukh, President, Microbiologist Society of India. I welcome you, sir. I also welcome our beloved principal, Captain Dr. P. Sundarabandian, who constantly encourage our staff members. And I heartily welcome our SF coordinator, Dr. R. Palaniyappan, who is our mentor in helping us to achieve our milestone. And I welcome our research dean, Dr. N. Prithvi Kumaran, sir. And I welcome our participants from various state and college. Last but not the least, I welcome my colleagues and my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all for this webinar. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for welcoming all. Thank you once again. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I felt grateful to invite our principal, Captain Dr. P. Sundra Pandeyansa, to give an inaugural speech about this session. Yeah, very pleasant morning to all of you. Learned professors, invited personalities, my dear colleagues, and all participants. I'm really happy to inaugurate this national webinar on mucormycosis, the black fungi, and our DPT Star College scheme organized by our PG and Research Department of Microbiology, jointly with Microbiology Society of India in commemoration of 75th Platinum Jubilee celebration. Currently, this fungal infection has created much havoc nationwide until much recently, this was considered to be rare but is now showing devastating effects. It is said that fungi enter the body through nose, mouth or eyes and directly attack the sinus cavities, chest cavities and lungs. If not treated in time, the infection can prove lethal and cause brain damage, ultimately causing demise of the infected. And hygienic way of delivering oxygen to the patients provides an entry point to the molds to enter the body. The infection is not contagious and does not spread from one person to another, unlike coronavirus. National care and good hygiene are the only ways by which you can keep the infection at bay. India witnesses a large population of diabetic patients 
and studies claim that block fungal infection can severely and promptly attack those who have high sugar levels doctors believe mucormycosis which has an overall mortality rate of 50% may be being triggered by the use of steroids a life saving treatment for severe and critically ill covid-19 patients india has reported a recent surge in mucormycosis cases prevention of covid-19 associated mucormycosis needs to focus on aiming for better glycemic control in covid-19 patients and monitoring the use of systematic corticosteroids in treating severe cases as per the last update india had seen a total of 40845 cases of block fungus until 28th june of which 31344 are rhinocerebral in nature and the death toll from the infection stands at 3129 a total of 13083 patients were in the age group of 18 to 45 percent uh, that according to 32 percent and 17464 were in the age group of 45 to 60 years that uh, it is 42 percent and while 10082 that is 24 percent patients were 60 plus years of age the union health ministry recently declared mucormycosis an epidemic in india with this short note i am very happy and grateful in thanking our smart resource persons dr a m deshmukh president microbiology society india for accepting our invitation to throw more light on the block fungi at appropriate time thanks to the sf coordinator dr r palaniyappan who encourages the staff members to conduct webinar on innovative topics i also thank dr priji kumaran former dean research and uh, head of the department of physics additional coordinator of ikac who is going to felicitate this uh, webinar i would like to congratulate the convener dr a pala subramanian head and associate professor pg and research department of microbiology vhms college autonomous virudhanagar i also appreciate the work done by the organizing secretary dr b harinathan assistant professor and by the executive members dr sanmo prabha mrs a r vijay lalitha dr v shiva mr s paul permal and all other staff members who are uh, taking steps in making this international virtual seminar happen once again i appreciate the efforts of the department of microbiology for continuously organizing virtual webinars for the benefit of students fraternity and society at large at this juncture i feel happy to inaugurate the national webinar on mucormycosis the black fungi and welcome all the participants for our program thank you very much mr program a grand success thank you for the opportunity Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful inaugural speech. Next, I invite. I wish to invite Dr. N. Prithvi Kumaran, coordinator of DPT Star College Scheme, to deliver the facilitation address. A very good morning to one and all. Am I audible? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Audible. Right. A very good morning to one and all. Uh, first of all, I thank our beloved principal, sir, uh, for organizing. Yeah, motivating our staff members to organize such webinars, and uh, this webinar is being uh, arranged under the uh, funds of uh, DBT Star College Scheme, which was uh, sanctioned to us in the year 2020-21 for a period of three years. And DBT has sanctioned 1.04 crore, and uh, we have uh, completed activities for the first year. Uh, yeah, in the previous academic year, and uh, Department of Microbiology has done extremely well in conducting the uh, star college activities for the uh, first year of the program. And this is the first program for the second year uh, of the star college scheme. And uh, once again, Department of Microbiology has taken taken efforts to start the kickstart the uh, events under the star college scheme for the second year, and. Uh, 
also this is the 75th year of our great institute of chana sankara divirudhanaga and uh, uh, we are uh, celebrating our platinum jubilee this year and uh, under start college ki this is the first program for the 75th year so for that i first congratulate the department of microbiology for organizing such a webinar on a topic which is a very much needed one uh, in today's pandemic situation mycormycosis which is a, a life threatening uh, disease uh, which is a, a said to be the by product of uh, treatment of covid uh, for the patients who are uh, who are uh, deficient in uh, immune immunity we uh, who went on treatment for covid with the comorbidities and uh, who are kept under steroid and other life saving uh, uh, medicines were found to acquire the mycormycosis which is a life threatening one and a uh, lot of uh, news spreading in uh, media about mycormycosis it's the right time to arrange such a webinar Uh, and uh, yeah, we are fortunate enough to have a uh, excellent and uh, highly uh, qualified uh, micro uh, president of microbiology society and he is the right person to explain the cause and uh, treatment for the mycormycosis and uh, we are fortunate enough to have such eminent personality today here in the webinar uh, and i wish the program a, a great success I congratulate the HOD of Microbiology Department and all the staff members for organizing such a webinar. Thank you, thank you, Ananda. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful speech. So, in this special occasion, we had our special guest, Dr. A. M. Deshmukh, President, Microbiology Society, India, who gonna teach us more about mycormycosis black fungi. So, let me. invite dr b harina then assistant professor of microbiology to deliver the chief guest introduction about our special guest good morning everyone i am very much delighted to introduce the resource person of today's webinar professor a m deshmukh the president of microbiology society of india who has greatly consented to preside over this webinar um he has a very good teaching experience of nearly 37 years his major thrust areas of research are nanotechnology biodiversity of actinomyces dye degradation he has also produced near 17 phd scholars who have successfully completed their doctoral degrees and he has also published He has eighty-two publications in reputed journals. He has been the resource person of nearly around two eighty-seven conferences, and he has visited eight abroad countries during his entire tenure as the resource person and and also as a special guest. Our chief um, next, he is also the board of studies member of. many universities and uh, reputed institutions now our chief guest is currently conducting the virtual classes for the benefit of student community we are extremely proud to have you on this special occasion sir thank you sir thank you sir for your in informative introduction of uh, about our chief guest so i am handing this session to our chief guest thank you thank you harinathan thank you thank you for inviting me giving an opportunity to interact with the microbiology or biotechnology students really i am highly impressed by knowing the reputation of your college and academic of your college i will give credit to honorable principal of your college and uh, management of your college for creating such an good academic environment so that the microbiology and biotechnology team 
in your college he is uh, doing excellent job under the umbrella of dbt star college i wish all the best for you in future for different activities in microbiology now let us come to our most important topic muca mycosis so as your principal have rightly told that it is the biggest calamity in india after the covid 19 everyone was afraid and in india after covid 19 more than 40000 cases have been reported of mucor mycosis and two states were affected worsely among them maharashtra and gujarat in these two cases the two two states the cases were maximum yeah and why everyone huh? was afraid of mucor mycosis uh -huh. uh, can you listen me please can you hear me yes sir yes sir and slides are visible yes sir visible okay so the most important or most worst part of mucor mycosis is that 50% to 80 85% death rate means once you are suffering from suffering from mucor mycosis the chances of death was a 50% to 85% that's why although who has declared it as a, a pandemic disease but the more important part is the fatality rate that's why everyone was worried about the mucor mycosis now let us go to the next slide very important characteristic of mucor mycosis it is a non contagious although it is called as a epidemic but it is non contagious because it do not spread from person to person like a covid 19 in covid 19 it is highly contagious but mucor mycosis is non contagious that is very important part of this disease mucor mycosis old name of mucor mycosis is zygomycosis again understand this is a fungi to the students i am telling what is a fungi there are five different types of microorganism if we categorize the microorganism bacteria viruses algae protozoa and lastly the fungi how the fungi is different from other types of microorganism fungi cell wall is made up of cellulose and chitin that's why the different antibiotics which are killing bacteria are unable to kill fungi what bacterial cell wall is made up of cellulose and chitin sorry bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan whereas fungal cell wall is made up of cellulose and chitin that's why the antibiotics which are used to kill the bacteria are not useful to destroy the fungi again in the fungi there are four different categories zygomycetes ascomycetes then basidiomycetes and last one is a deuteromycetes so this mucor belongs to the zygomycetes where sexual reproduction is present and fungal uh, filaments are non septate 
which is called as a cenocytic. Naturally, the question arises: Why it is called as a black fungus? Then the reason it is called as a black fungus is that it produces black spores or sporangium. Meaning is that whenever in our room, in our house, in our kitchen, the dead organic matter or vegetative organic matter, like a bread, like a roti, is lying for two days. the growth of mucor takes place growth of aspergillus takes place and these growth are black in color why because the spores are black in color sporangio sporangium or sporangiospores they are black in color that's why it is also called as a black fungus so it is belonging to the zygomycetes and it is non contagious in nature although these black spores are present in air they are present in environment they are present they are called as a ubiquitous in nature ubiquitous meaning is that mainly they are present in soil but they can be present on the roof they can be present on the wall they can be present on inside of the uh, refrigerator so at many places mucor spores are observed detected naturally you will ask me the question if the ubiquitous in nature why it is not causing infection in between you and me your body and my body is having good immune, immune system that's why there are many pathogenic organism like mucor they are normally present on our the surface of our body but they do not cause infection among them mucor is there mucor is present in the environment mucor is present on our body surface but generally it do not cause infection because our body system immune system protect our body so there are different it comes under the order mucorels so mucor comes under the order mucorels and there are number of genera rhizopus mucor rhizomucor absidia and many other names are there so it is not the only mucor other genera from the mucorels family they cause the black fungus now i will go in detail i will tell you why this black fungus is causing an import first of all let us see how to preventive measure what preventive measure we have to take slowly and slowly i will take one and one another point first of all as i have told you these mucor present on our body surface but do not cause infection but if you ask the question what preventive precautions preventive measures we should take to avoid the infection particularly whenever you are suffering by other disease whenever you are immunity is weak what precautions you should take first thing is that protect your nose because main root of infection is nose why nasal cavity it enters very rarely it enters through the ingestion very rarely it enters through the inoculation means where if there is a injury on our body surface it get inoculated in the body surface that is a rare incidence the maximum incidence is through the nasal cavity it enters in our body. so whenever you are immunologically weak or whenever you are a post covid patient protect your nose by mask so take nasal care that is a we can prevent the mucor mycosis then good hygiene it is very essential the bed sheets of the patients should be regularly clean and with the pop Dis disinfectant with the pop detol. So 
good hygiene is very important not only the bed sheets even the room in which the post covid patient is allowed to stay for rest the room should be clean spray the disinfectant in the room after every after 8 days and maintain good hygienic condition in the room for the clothes used for the patient clothes of the beds or whenever any other uh, health means a nurse or doctor entering into the room they should be also the clean so the cleanliness good hygienic condition in the environment in the room there should not be decaying organic matter the precaution should be taken to prevent the entry of mold in the room next important precaution is that maintain your sugar level because in the post covid patient it is observed that sugar level in the body increases so take a precaution immediately take insulin with the advice of doctor but try to bring the sugar level to the normal as early as possible see maintain your sugar level if the sugar is normal and immunity is good there are no chances of the fungal infection so maintain your sugar level at a normal level and the third important precaution is that be aware of the symptoms because in the mucor mycosis most important part is that early diagnosis noticing the symptom noticing the disease as early as possible if you complain to the doctor as early as possible nothing will happen you will be saved 100% but you should know the symptoms that's why today's program i will give credit to the organizer because in short they are creating awareness of the students regarding the mucor mycosis so the knowledge is a very important part now what are the sources of the mucor or fungus inside our body first is artificial oxygen support because it was observed that in post in the covid whenever anyone was suffering from a covid many times he was dependent on oxygen why oxygen level was decreased so whenever oxygen level is decreased we require artificial oxygen support and it was observed that in maximum cases contamination takes place from artificial oxygen support so if the proper hygienic conditions are not maintained why oxygen support the fungus enter directly it gets entry into lungs and there was a infection second contaminated water to produce medical oxygen because for production of medical oxygen water is used and the quality of water was not checked the poor quality water was used to produce medical oxygen so the poor quality of water leads to the fungal entry fungal contamination in the body that's why the precaution should be taken to prevent the entry then the soil as i have told you soil is generally contaminated with the fungus so if it is a covid patient take a precaution he should not be exposed in the field in the soil so room should be cement concrete room and cleaned sanitized properly with the help of sanitizer then how the entry takes place as i have told you inhalation that is the first way 
inoculation is the second way and injection is the third way so take precaution that is it should not enter either by inhalation if the we are having the wound on the surface body surface clean regularly with the help of detol so through inoculation also it will not enter and the injection take the food material which is properly cooked if it is properly cooked and not stored for longer time there are no chances of entry of mucor inside your body by ingestion last but most important medical equipments and devices used in the hospital because in the hospital many times the medical equipments are used for example the many times the thermometers are given to the patient and ask him to keep in the mouth to see the temperature if the thermometer is contaminated or tongue pressing uh, for pressing the tongue the wooden strip is there or many other equipments which are used in the hospital these medical equipments and devices if they are not properly sterilized they may also act as a source of mucor inside your body so all these precautions are essential for the to avoid the entry route of infection just i have told you i will go to the next that is a diagnosis of a disease how we can diagnose the disease first of all you can take a histopathology you can perform the histopathology how by taking a biopsy of inflamed tissue small piece of inflamed tissue are taken observed under microscope that is called as a histopathology for the diagnosis again one more is a cultivation from tissue or sputum how you see from the tissue you can cultivate the mucor but it requires a long time it requires a more than 75 hours so the cultivation is not useful because before the cultivation organism will spread inside the body so cultivation is not the important but it is one of the way for the diagnosis of the disease these are the in the laboratory diagnosis i am not talking about the clinical diagnosis that we will see later on i am talking about the laboratory diagnosis of the disease then the tissues can be taken and pcr can be performed polymerase chain reaction which is used for the diagnosis of covid 19 so the pcr also can be used to find out the presence of mucor inside the body then x ray ct scan or mri scan so the magnetic resonance so mri scan is also responsible we can use to see the uh, extent of infection inside the body so how much is the extent of infection in the frontal lobes in the side lobes uh, near the nose so or whether brain is affected or not it can be chest is affected or not lungs are affected or not so that can be diagnosed by the x ray ct scan or mri scan sometimes cerebrospinal fluid examination is also carried out because very rarely in the last stage it can infect the central nervous system and brain at that time csf fluid examination is also useful for the diagnosis of disease now i am coming to the most important part of my presentation and this is for the students for the young generation the so i am going to tell today the most important part is a predisposing factor now you see steroids are predisposing factor i will tell you what is a steroids steroids are certain chemical certain drugs they are given 
they are the miracle drug it is called as a miracle drug because whenever pain is intolerable to the patient and whenever patient is near to the death or severe infection severe disease condition at that time steroids are given by the doctor why steroids are not responsible to kill the pathogen steroids are not helpful to destroy the microorganism but steroids will reduce the symptoms of disease and will reduce the pain of disease whenever the steroid injection is given the patient becomes a fresh he feels that he is healthy and psychological factor that is he is recovered as well as certain symptoms are also reduced by the steroids so at one point steroids should be given must be given to the patient and in the corona patient
Hello. There is no voice and video, please. Please maintain the system. We are waiting here. Is there anybody here who can guide? Where is the file right now? Then what, then what the solution of all this?
half of the time is spent for solving the issue, but there is no update. Is there the webinar started or not?
हेलो 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 सर यस 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 सर यस सर यस सर सॉरी फॉर इंटरप्शन यस सो आई एम थैंकफुल एंड इफ द क्वेश्चन इज देयर यू कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन हेलो इज देर एनी क्वेश्चन so if there is a any question and answer if there is any question if there is any question you can ask me hello Hello. Hello. Yes. Sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay, sir. Actually, you have uh, between due to network issue, you you have not presented the rest of the slides, sir. After presenting, we can ask the questions, sir. No, no, no. I have completed my slide presentation. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Up to up to the treatment, but, I have won. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. But in the eighth slide, you have left the meeting. That's why problem, sir. That's why. That's why I am telling, sir. Okay. Sorry. 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 Up to what? Yes. Again, I will repeat it. One minute. One minute. You can. You can. You can continue from the ninth slide, sir. Okay. One minute. One. Minute. ओके ओके सर ओके सर सॉरी फॉर द इनवीनियंस एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी हेलो एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी From no, where? Uh, from which slide? I, I should repeat it. Uh, you call me. You call me, please. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. हेलो हेलो 
sir can i ask a question uh, no yeah yeah but uh, from how many uh, means from which slides i lost connection i don't know one minute please hello okay 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 one minute okay extremely sorry i am repeating and uh, uh, i was not knowing that is i lost my connection and uh, i will go again and uh, i will present the slides again sorry for inconvenience because absolutely i was not knowing that is i lost my connection now we will go to the ninth slide i will go to the ninth slide yes the slides are visible to you yes sir visible okay i will go to the next slide yeah uh, i should start from symptoms okay Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from the symptoms, uh, extremely sorry because it has happened. Uh, how so? I don't know, but it's all right. I will go for symptoms. The nasal cavity, mouth, eyes, sinus cavity. They are the first entry of the infection. Then lungs and facial pain is there. So. the nose mouth eyes sinus they are inflamed first there is a entry of in the nose slowly slowly fungus enter into mouth then it enters into eyes swelling of eyes takes place sinus cavity is that is near the cheek on both sides of the nasal cavity there are cheeks and below that cheeks there are sinuses they get infected facial pain is there then acute swelling is there acute swelling and inflammation is there so the whole face get infected and the fever it accompanies with the fever swelling and inflammation of cheeks and eyes is a very important and the next is a respiratory passage you see these are the reno cerebral after the reno cerebral respiratory passage is there and in the respiratory passage and lungs get infected that is called as a pulmonary mu mucormycosis after the pulmonary mucormycosis then acute headache then the organism slowly travel to the brain redness and loss of memory memory takes place loss of vision is there black necrotic scar means black necrotic growth is there then frontal lobe abscesses so these are the different types of symptoms and loss of vision is one of the important type of symptom is there then next slide is uh, what are the different types of the mucormycosis one is a cutaneous mucormycosis second is a pulmonary mucormycosis third is a gastrointestinal mucormycosis fourth is a disseminated mucormycosis and last one is a reno cerebral mucormycosis cutaneous meaning is that when there is a present wound pulmonary meaning is that involvement of lung gastrointestinal means through the food material when it enters in our body disseminated meaning is that complete body get infected and reno cerebral which is a most common 
that is through the nose it enters in our body that is the highest frequency of rhinocerebral what is the treatment treatment is amphotericin b then posa conazole and isa huke huke huko nazole now among them amphotericin b is a very common amphotericin b how amphotericin b this is a drug of choice but it is very costly it is 5000 to 7000 rupees per injection and per day five injections should be given and the patient for whole recovery maximum injections required are 120 injections required sometime it is a costly affair and during the covid 19 uh prop the uh, epidemic the cost of amphotericin b was increasing and it was sold in black market posaconazole and other drug both the drugs they are available in the powder form tablet form injection form but amphotericin b is it is to be only injected then the surgery surgery is a last alternative what is the alternative of the surgery that is the sorry the it is the prime import prime important how it is prime important because whenever there is infection we have to remove the infected part amphotericin b is not going to kill all the microorganisms so here the surgery is to be carried out to remove the infected part and the in this manner we have to treat the patient now again i am going to tell you the important statement of the montigner look montigner was a nobel prize winner what he was telling he was telling that the you are uh, producing vaccines you are using um, medicines different antibiotics don't believe on antibiotic don't believe on vaccine believe more on your immunity that i want to tell today to the young generation believe on your immunity how increase your immunity how you can increase your immunity do not forget walking do not sit in front of computer laptop for 12 hour 14 hours do not again you see maximum precautions you can take to increase your immunity the first important thing is that eat the quality food material maximum vegetable maximum fruits don't eat fast foods avoid fast food eating the uh, food material which food material fruits vegetables buttermilk you should drink more in this manner you should uh, take maximum precautions so these are the treatment and the precautions to be taken for mucormycosis so uh, 50% slides i was go i was speaking assuming that my lecture was going on i have not cared the phone calling from doctor uh, from sir i was getting continuous calling but i neglected it sorry for it thank you very much thank you you can ask the question now hello 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 sir now you can ask the question now was there any problem in the lecture yes. हेलो सर वाज देयर एनी प्रॉब्लम लेटर ऑन नो सर ओके हेलो सर यस कैन आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन या 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 यस बट वेयर इज द एंकर एंकर 
हरिनाथन सर हरिनाथन प्लीज हेलो सर यस डॉक्टर डिलेक्टा वांट टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन या कैन आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन yes sir. um i wanted to know that um, this uh, very nice talk sir though i uh, didn't get the full talk uh, because i had some other commitment uh, but uh, this cases are mostly increasing only post covid right so um, you know when can someone go to the doctor to prevent all these other complications like what what would be the first symptom that you feel that maybe you got mucomycosis and you have to rush to the doctor and uh, get it diagnosed the pain in the nose and the swelling and inflammation in the nose is the first symptom because mucomycosis spreads in the body throughout but the first entry is always in 90% cases the entry is via nose and generally only one nostrils get infected so whenever there is inflammation and swelling around the nose or inside the nose congestion of nose difficulty in the breathing it is should be considered as a first symptoms yeah thank you sir okay. sir and i i really appreciate uh, how you talked about uh, how to build up immunity because uh, that is uh, really needed Uh, especially the today yeah, is spending so many hours uh, yes. on the laptop also i mean all uh, it's not only the youngsters even all of us because because of these online classes and other things we are mostly on the laptop so you know every time we should think at least of such types of diseases and get up and take a round go somewhere and then come back to the laptop because once we are sitting there and we are so engrossed with our work we are really spending so many hours at the laptop so that was a very nice uh, uh, suggestion that you gave how to build the immunity and of course the other things thank you so much sir okay okay the major problem today is not the uh, pathogenic organism not the disease the major problem is that we lost our immunity you see the pandemic covid 19 is also causing problems only in the unhealthy persons otherwise the workers or the layman they are calling it as a common cold so health is more important thank you participant any other hand out you can clarify now yes sir that yes. is sir may i ask question to you yeah S sir you have said that uh, the diabetic patient with irregular uh, sir times so they were affected with this these fungal infection right so what right. is the reason the main thing which is uh, giving them a first first disease to them That I mean, I'm thinking that yeah. they are also getting immune. So they, in their body, whether they are getting less immune or else uh, the due to the diabetic infection, they are getting that. Yes, function. yes. The main reason is that the diabetic sugar is present. Sugar is a sweet dish for the fungi. Oh. If the sugar concentration is increased because for the isolation of fungi in the laboratory. we add higher sugar in the medium oh. and restrict the growth of bacteria oh yes sir so higher sugar promote the growth of mucor so mucor is waiting on the door and inside the body there is a high concentration of sugar it okay. is invitation to the mucor okay. mucor enters in the body and multiplies fastly that is the reason why diabetic patients are more susceptible than other yes sir thank you very much uh, there are few questions i think in the yeah so also one more thing i would like to add here is uh, diabetes yes. also uh, decreases the immunity yeah that is one part 
diabetic yes, increases the immunity but the most important factor is a heavy yeah, group yeah heavy sugar right any other question uh, could you tell me the worst black fungus can affect the mortality in the longer run you see again in the longer run this disease is a very uncommon it was rarely observed as i have told you it was observed only in the cancer patients in organ transplantation patients or hiv patients otherwise if you are your health is normal if you are sugar is normal there is a nil chances of developing black fungus so there is no chances in longer run then the uh, one more question is that i heard post covid patients do not enter into sunlight due to the sunlight mucor mycosis will increase is it correct wrong it is not the uh, sunlight is not responsible to increase the mucor mycosis so there is no relation of the sunlight actually after post covid patient uh, post covid condition whether you should travel in the sunlight i will tell normally you should go in the sun and we have lost we have forgotten to go in the sunlight and having vitamin d deficiency but after in the post covid condition and whenever you are suffering from mucor mycosis it is wrong to say don't go in sunlight next any other question any question i think there is no question sinusitis is a what question is there is a black fungus no 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 sir, sir do sinusitis risk black fungus yeah there is a risk of course whenever you are infected there is a risk but if your immunity is good then it is not a risk at all so only you are a sinusitis so will suffer from black fungus it is not the case if your immunity is a important factor sinusitis up to some extent will invite the fungal infection but if your immunity is good then sinusitis is also not to be worried during covid infection most of the ventilator applied patient highly susceptible to black fungus correct is there any cross contamination reason yes that is that is the blame during the uh, covid whenever the ventilators were used and oxygen supply was used the contamination takes place from that source that is one of the reason so later on government has taken precaution government has published guidelines and everything was sanitized in the later on thank you why mucormycosis seen mostly in covid related patient you see it is not only in covid related patient it is it was seen in hiv patient it was seen in Uh, cancer patients but it was rare as a covid 19 was a pandemic of course post covid infection were more because there were many cases at a time in india of the covid 19 and in the post covid 19 the situation was inviting mucor that's why mucor mycosis cases were more and one important reason in india it was not observed mucor mycosis was not major in us not major in uk but in india it was major because in india unhygienic conditions were more any participants do you have any queries 
Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful session. Okay. Thank you. We get thank you. Huge knowledge and more information from your course. My courses. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you. Okay. So now we are in the end of the session. Okay. Don't let the sun go down without saying thank you to someone. Say Stephen King. According to which I have said, I wish to thank you all. Me, right, Mr. F. Paul. Assistant Professor of Microbiology of Science. No matter what language you speak, a kind of smiling thank you always speak to everyone heart. Good afternoon, everyone. I deem it a great honor to propose the word of thanks to all who have helped this making national webinar such a resounding success. First of all, I would like to express our profound gratitude to our principal, Dr. P. Sundarabhanian, sir, for his presence in this webinar. I would like to extend my gratitude to our SF coordinator, Dr. R. Paraniyapan, sir, for his valuable support and engagement. Next, I would like to thank our former research dean, Dr. N. Prithvi Kumaran, sir, for his valuable guidance. I would like to propose hardly a word of thanks to our guest speaker, Dr. A. M. Dishmukh, President of Microbiology Society India, for his making excellent presentation and making this webinar interesting and meaningful. Next, I would also like to thank our beloved HOD, Dr. A. Bala Subramanian, sir, for his moral support and guidance. I am happy to express a word of thanks to our staff members who have made this webinar for a grand success. I would like to thank the attenders who have been running around doing a lot of things. Thank you so much. And then finally, I very thank to all the people who participated extremely and making the event success. Once again, I thank you one and all. Thank you. Participants, we, ha uh, we, uh, we had a feedback link in the uh, comment session. So please fill the feedback link and leave the meeting. After filling the feedback, you can leave the meeting. We have reshared the link. Now you can fill the link and leave the meetings. participants. Okay, let's go to our national anthem.
participants uh, if you fill the feedback thing you can leave it